Welcome to Eerie Instance, where reality blurs with nightmares. Dive into chilling tales and moments that linger. Today's chilling tale, Tales from the Porcelain Prison. Brace yourself, the shadows have a story to tell. The foggy streets of Victorian London were a labyrinth of mysteries, and Amelia, with her raven black hair cascading down her back, often found solace wandering through them. The weight of her recent losses pressed on her shoulders, making the city's gloom oddly comforting. Each step on the cobbled streets echoed the rhythm of her heart, a steady beat of curiosity and melancholy. As she meandered, the muted sounds of horse-drawn carriages and distant chatter painted the backdrop of a city alive, yet shrouded in secrets. Drawn by an inexplicable force, her eyes darted from one storefront to another, absorbing the myriad of curiosities that London offered. Suddenly, as if guided by fate, she stumbled upon the peculiar shop nestled at the corner of Wraith and Hollis Streets. Its wooden sign, worn by time, creaked gently in the breeze. The window, though dust-laden, showcased an array of antiques. But among the tarnished silverware and faded paintings, a porcelain doll with lifelike blue eyes held her gaze. It sat regally on a velvet cushion, its porcelain skin contrasting starkly with its deep blue Victorian dress. Compelled by the doll's gaze, she pushed open the door. A bell tinkled softly, announcing her entrance. The interior was dimly lit, the air thick with the scent of aged wood and lingering memories. An old man, man, Good afternoon, miss, he greeted, his voice a gravelly whisper. Is there something specific you seek? Amelia, her fingers tracing the intricate lace of the doll's dress, replied, this doll. It's exquisite. What's its story? The shopkeeper hesitated, his eyes darting to the doll. Ah, Lysandra, he began, choosing his words carefully. She's been with me for quite some time. A beauty, yes, but with a unique essence. Amelia raised an eyebrow, intrigued. Unique, how? The old man leaned in, his voice dropping even lower. They say she whispers tales of old, of lives once lived and secrets long buried. Amelia chuckled softly, a doll that whispers, sounds like a tale for children. The shopkeeper's gaze remained serious. In this city, my dear, even the inanimate have stories to tell. A shiver ran down Amelia's spine, but her fascination overpowered her apprehensions. How much for Lysandra? The shopkeeper named his price. And as Amelia handed over the coins, he added, treat her well, and perhaps listen when she speaks. Exiting the shop, doll in hand, Amelia felt the weight of the shopkeeper's words. As she stepped back onto the streets, the mysteries of London seemed even more enigmatic. The evening was drawing near, and as night began to fall, the whispers of the city grew louder ready to share their tales with those willing to listen. The next day dawned with a sense of anticipation. Amelia's fingers traced the intricate lace curtains of her bedroom as the morning sun cast dappled shadows on the wooden floor. The room was filled with the scent of lavender from the sachets she kept in her drawers. She paused, her gaze settling on Lysandra, who sat perched on the mantel. The doll's blue eyes seemed deeper, more sentient. She approached the mantle, her heart drumming a nervous rhythm. Did you move last night, Lysandra? She whispered, half expecting a response. Instead, the room remained silent, save for the distant chimes of the town's clock tower. 
With a newfound determination, Amelia donned her bonnet and cloak, preparing for her visit to the local library. The streets of Victorian London were alive with the sounds of horse-drawn carriages and the distant chatter of vendors. Children played hopscotch on the cobbled pathways, their laughter echoing in the crisp air. Upon entering the library, the musty scent of old books enveloped her. The librarian, Miss Hissesham, a stout woman with spectacles perched on her nose, greeted her with a nod. Back again, Miss Amelia? Researching your antiques? Amelia hesitated, then nodded. Yes, I've recently acquired a unique doll. I was hoping to find some information on its origins. Mrs. Havisham raised an eyebrow, her interest piqued. Oh, do tell. Amelia hesitated, then leaned in, lowering her voice. She whispers, Miss Havisham, at night, tales of her past. The librarian's eyes widened. That's most unusual. Let me see what I can find. She shuffled through a stack of books, pulling out an old leather-bound tome titled Legends of the Inanimate. Amelia settled into a reading nook, the book heavy in her lap. Hours seemed to pass as she delved into tales of haunted objects and spirits bound to the material world. A particular passage caught her eye. The spirit of the doll seeks release, often communicating with its owner through whispers and dreams. As dusk approached, Amelia, lost in thought, made her way home. The weight of Lysandra's history pressed on her, and she felt an inexplicable urge to communicate with the doll. Upon entering her room, she was met with an unexpected sight. Lysandra's head was tilted, her porcelain face turned towards the window. Amelia's breath caught, Lysandra. She ventured, her voice trembling. The room grew colder, and a soft whisper caressed Amelia's ear. You seek to know my past, dear Amelia. Amelia nodded, her heart racing. Yes. I want to understand, to help if I can. Lysandra's voice, though is soft, carried a weight of sorrow. Many have tried, dear one, but my tale is one of tragedy and betrayal. Are you sure you wish to hear it? Amelia took a deep breath, her resolve firming. Yes, Lysandra, tell me everything. And so, as the night deepened and shadows danced on the walls, Lysandra began to weave her tale, a story that would bind Amelia to the doll's fate in ways she could never have imagined. Amelia's footsteps echoed on the cobblestones as she approached the corner of Wraith and Hollow Streets. The fog, thick and suffocating, seemed to swallow the buildings around her. The peculiar shop, which once stood as a beacon of intrigue, now appeared forlorn, its windows darkened and door firmly shut. She reached out, her fingers brushing the cold, worn wood of the door. It didn't but touch. She pressed her face against the glass, trying to peer inside, but the shadows concealed the shop's secrets. Looking for old Mr. Thorne? A voice, raspy with age, broke the silence. Amelia turned to find an elderly woman, her face a map of wrinkles, eyes sharp and assessing. Yes, I was hoping to speak with him about a purchase I made, Amelia replied, clutching the satchel that held her notes on Lysandra's tales. The old woman chuckled, a sound that sent shivers down Amelia's spine. Mr. Thorne has been seen for days. Some say he's met the same fate as those before him. Amelia's heart raced. What do you mean? The woman leaned in, 
her voice dropping to a whisper. Every few decades, someone buys that doll, and soon after, Mr. Thorne disappears, only to return years later, unchanged. Amelia's thoughts swirled. The implications were staggering. How is that possible? The woman shrugged. Some say it's the price he pays for dealing in cursed objects. Others believe he's bound to the doll, forever entwined with its dark history. Amelia felt a chill. I need to know more. The doll, Lysandra, she speaks to me. The woman's eyes widened. They're near him deeper than you think. Come, I might have something that can help. Amelia followed the woman to a nearby cottage, its walls covered in ivy, windows adorned with lace curtains. Inside, the air was thick with the scent of herbs and old books. The woman gestured to a worn-out armchair. Sit, she instructed. I am Agatha. My family has lived in this town for generations, and we've kept records of its history, including the tales of that cursed doll. Amelia, her curiosity piqued, listened intently as Agatha recounted stories passed down through her lineage. Tales of owners who had been seduced by Lysandra's whispers, each meeting a tragic end. But why? Amelia interjected. Why does the doll ensnare its owners? Agatha sighed. No one knows for sure. Some believe it's a spirit seeking redemption. Others think it's a malevolent force feeding off the souls of its owners. Amelia shuddered. I found a ritual, one that Lysandra hinted could free her. Agatha's face paled. You mustn't. Every owner who's tried has been lost. The ritual is a trap, a final snare to claim the soul. Amelia's resolve wavered. The weight of her decision, the implications of her actions pressed down on her. She felt trapped, ensnared in a web of secrets and dark history. Agatha, sensing Amelia's distress, reached out, gripping her hand. You must resist the whispers. Find a way to break the curse without succumbing to it. Amelia nodded, determination stealing her spine. I will. I my must. As she left the cottage, the fog began to lift, but the weight in Amelia's heart remained. The path ahead was uncertain but she was resolved to find a way to free both Lysandra and herself from the shadows of the past. The following evening, the room was dimly lit, the heavy drapes allowing only slivers of the stormy night to penetrate. Candles flickered, casting elongated shadows that danced upon the walls of Amelia's Victorian home. The scent of burning sage filled the air, mingling with the mustiness of old books and the impending rain outside. Amelia stood in the center, her raven black hair cascading down her back, her hands trembling slightly. Before her, on a small wooden table, lay the ancient tome she had discovered in the attic. Its pages, yellowed with age, were open to the ritual she intended to perform. Lysandra, the porcelain doll, sat on the mantel, her blue eyes seemingly watching every move. The room was silent, save for the soft rustling of pages and the distant rumble of thunder. You're sure about this? Amelia whispered, her voice quivering with a mix of fear and determination. Lysandra's voice, ethereal and haunting, filled the room. It's the only way, Amelia. For both of us. Amelia took a deep breath, her eyes scanning the ritual's instructions. I felt such loneliness, Lysandra. Such emptiness. If this ritual can free you and give me purpose, 
then it's worth the risk. Lysandra's voice softened, a hint of sorrow evident. You've been kind, Amelia. Kinder than any before you. But remember this exchange. It's permanent. Amelia nodded, her resolve firming. I understand. She began chanting the incantations, her voice growing in confidence with each word. The room's temperature dropped, and a chilling wind swirled around, extinguishing some of the candles. The remaining flames flickered wildly, casting an eerie glow. As Amelia continued, the boundaries between the present and the past seemed to blur. Visions of Lysandra's previous owners flashed before her eyes each story more tragic than the last. She saw their desires, their obsessions, and their ultimate transformations into porcelain. Lysandra began to speak, her voice intertwining with Amelia's chant. I was once like you, Amelia. Curious, compassionate, seeking purpose. But the weight of this curse, the endless cycle of owners and exchanges, it's been unbearable. Tears streamed down Amelia's face, her heart aching for the trapped spirit before her. Then let's end it, Lysandra. Let's freeze you. The climax of the ritual approached. Amelia felt a coldness creeping up her limbs, her vision blurring. She could see her reflection in a nearby mirror, her skin turning porcelain white, her eyes becoming glassy. Lysandra's voice echoed, filled with gratitude and sorrow. Thank you, Amelia. Remember, you chose this. You chose freedom for me. As the final words left Amelia's lips, the transformation completed. The room grew silent, the storm outside subsiding. The candles extinguished, plunging the room into darkness. Morning light eventually filtered through the drapes, revealing two figures. On the mantel, a new porcelain doll with raven black hair sat forever frozen in a moment of melancholic beauty. Beside the table, a young woman with flowing hair and lifelike blue eyes stood, taking in her surroundings. Lysandra, now free from her porcelain prison, whispered a final goodbye to the brave soul who had sacrificed everything for her. She stepped out of the house, leaving behind the echoes of her past and the tragic tale of Amelia. Did the shadows grip your soul? If you dared to enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe and stay tuned for more eerie instants. Until then, let the darkness guide you.